from the worldwide headquarters of More Sports in Les Levine. It's a, uh, what night is this really, Dave Bacon? Would be a Wednesday night. It's a Wednesday night. <laughs> Welcome once again to More Sports in Les Levine into its uh, 24th consecutive year, seen exclusively here, here on Cleveland.com. Well, we sort of introduced Dave Bacon, but the, the real star of the show, Dennis Gates, who is the Cleveland State basketball coach, who's going to bring a national championship <laughs> to Cleveland State. <laughs> I don't know, next two, three years, Dave, what do you think, first of all, before we ask No him? pressure at all. Yeah, it's good to go. All right, and if not, you can coach the Browns. They named a new coach, <laughs> and you can help him. Hey, I'll stay in my wheelhouse, but I appreciate the compliment. Welcome. Welcome to Cleveland. Thanks for having me. You haven't seen the bad weather yet, so good luck with that. I heard I've been spoiled. So what brings you to Cleveland State? Well, what brings me is obviously I owe this uh, journey to the educators and my coaches who helped uh, raise me. And when I say that, they saw the leadership in me at an early age as I was going through the ranks of elementary basketball, AAU basketball, and obviously college. But uh, there's no doubt about it. I'm here for the opportunity uh, that's presented. And President Sands and Scott Garrett during that process of, uh, you know, trying to see if this was a great fit. They made it clear that it was a great fit for me by highlighting the things and the vision of the university. Yeah, I saw when you were introduced to the uh, to the media and to the Cleveland State uh, boosters, and couldn't have come off better that day. Well, it was it was a humble, it was very emotional. It was an emotional day, emotional press conference. But it's almost uh, one of those things where you have so much going on at that little time, and you're you're trying to make sure you thank everybody. But I I just know me being there uh, thanked people in general who helped me get to yeah. that point. Well, Coach Hamilton was there with yes. you. Really <laughs> yes, nice. yes. Coach, Coach Hamilton is, was an unbelievable mentor for me. Uh, he actually uh, gave me an opportunity as a graduate assistant, uh, but also one that taught me how to really, really, you know, dissect, I would say, uh, the balance of being a husband, being a coach, and, you know, being successful at it. When you looked at Cleveland State, were you familiar at all with with? For Leland State and the Horizon right. League. You came from Florida State. We, we haven't mentioned, we've coached, we've mentioned Coach Hamilton. Yeah. You were an assistant at Florida State. What, what about, you know, someone says, hey, Cleveland State has an opening, they're, they're interested in you. What, and it's late, the, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the process? Well, I'll tell you the process. The process is, is, is a couple things. Uh, obviously, the leadership, as I spoke about <laughs> in President Sands and uh, Scott Garrett. The other part of it is the conference. Uh, is it a conference that is leaning toward or is about basketball? And essentially those are the things that I was looking for. And the other, other part of it is, is it in a great location? Obviously the location means you have a recruiting territory, you have relationships and possibly an unbelievable uh, basketball grassroots system. And that was very important because the greater, Ohio, greater Cleveland, Ohio area has great basketball and has in the past. Yeah, I've been, I told you before the show that I, I've done Cleveland State radio or TV for 23, 24 uh -huh. years. And so I've seen the ups and I've seen the downs of it. But I think the most impressive thing is when I saw Coach Hamilton there for you, if he signed off on you coming here, this must have been a good deal for everybody concerned. Yeah, Coach Ham, in my eyes, Coach Hamilton is a Hall of Famer. Uh, he's a Hall of Fame coach. He's constructed a lot of programs in his past. Obviously, he was a, the first African American associate head coach and the SEC at Kentucky. And he was Joe B. Hall's assistant coach and associate head coach. But the thing, you look at his path, he helped start it, Oklahoma State program before it was, you know, spent years and years not making an NCAA tournament. And then his second job was at Miami, who at the time was an independent school. Uh, they didn't have a conference and where he left that program in addition to where he left Oklahoma State. And obviously we see what he's doing now at Florida State in one of the best basketball conferences ever assembled. Um, and he is a Hall of Famer, and I don't think he gets enough credit for the things that he's done. Speaking of Hall of Famers, you mentioned one before in John McClendon. Yes. Who was uh, Cleveland State. Actually, it might yes. have been Fenn College at that Fenn point. Fenn College. Yep. Yeah, I believe it was. He also coached the Cleveland Pipers, which yep. was an interesting yep. team. What, what did you know about him growing up? Was that a, a role model you had aspired to? Well, one of, like I said, one of my mentors, obviously, is uh, Leonard Hamilton. The other is George Raveling. George Raveling, uh, you know, he's done an unbelievable job during his tenure as a head coach in the Pac-10 uh, with Washington State and obviously at Iowa and different places. But um, you look at what he's done in terms of being able to um, build sort of the bridges from generation to generation. And that was one of the African-American head coaches that uh, George Ravelin looked up to. And obviously Leonard Hamilton, 
looked up to George Ravelin and John Thompson and John Chaney. And, you know, at this point, the torch is with uh, Leonard Hamilton. And as it relates to mentoring, he's done a great job and obviously educating myself on a John McClendon. Who doesn't know uh, Dr. James Naismith and what he's done? Uh, he invented the game. And to know that John McClendon was an, uh, a student and also a guy that worked side by side with James Naismith at the University of Kansas in Lawrence uh, speaks volumes to the connection of the growth of basketball and also the connection that Cleveland has to another Hall of Fame coach. Who's responsible for saying, let's get that peach basket down? <laughs> <laughs> put a regular basket and you don't have to get on a ladder every time you score a basket. Hey, whatever the evolution of it was, they owe credit. <laughs> yeah. What did you think when you, you, you probably saw pictures of it or, or tape of it, when you saw the Wolstein Center, that this is the place your home games would be played now? They they had uh, sold it out back in the day, but mm -hmm. it's it's just this beautiful thing there, They're ready ready for people to come in and watch basketball. Well, it's a great basketball city, first of all. It's a great sports town, and I truly believe it echoes what the fan base screams, and and it makes a hostile environment. I think there's a picture of uh, Cleveland State versus Butler uh, mm -hmm. in my office, and and that was a time when. Uh, it was screaming. It was screaming in there. And there's footage that I watched before I took the job. I just watched old film of the Wolstein Center and the environment of when this job was at its height and the crowd support. And that's very important to have a support base uh, in, 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 in place already. And it was unbelievable. My guess is had you waited, you, there would have been other opportunities. So what made you want to go get it right now? Well, I, I've turned down opportunities, believe it or not. Um, but you look at the big picture of being aligned with a first-year uh, president in Harlan Sands and a first-year AD um, in Scott Garrett, and it's almost like you're walking your path together. And to be able to be in a situation where sometimes those uh, careers don't align, you either have a president retiring or AD retiring right. or changing but jobs, both. but not all three guys yeah. just starting and trying to push um, the envelope a little bit and build a program. And I felt that charge over any because it's directly tied to the institution and how the institution can also grow. Dennis Gates, uh, head basketball coach at Cleveland State, already won a couple of games. Maybe he shouldn't have won, but he's pulled that out of his hat. <laughs> hey, hey, at this point, don't, don't do it. Don't make it look so easy. Oh. You, want, you want to have people think that it's a really tough thing that you're doing. Well, I would love to take the credit, but the credit goes to not only my staff, our staff here at Cleveland State, but also our student athletes that we were able to sign and recruit. We have 11 new guys on the team hmm. and that's probably fourth or fifth most in the country and whenever you have that many to get them all on the same page it's been absolute uh, a joy to coach them and it's been a uh, buy-in. Very good we'll talk more about Cleveland State and uh, Dennis did you know the Ohio Lottery has paid out over four billion dollars in winnings over the past six months people are winning in record numbers winning is happening all over the state of Ohio play an Ohio Lottery game today or tomorrow or the next day for that matter. We'll come back in a moment. Dave Bacon is with us. Uh, Coach Gates is with us. More sports and less living continues exclusively on Cleveland.com. Presque Isle Downs and Casino has sports betting. Use one of our 50 state-of-the-art Bet America kiosks to place your bet and watch your favorite games on one of our many HD televisions or visit our sportsbook area only at Presque Isle Downs and Casino. As a kid growing up, my dream was to go to college, play baseball, and get a degree. Coming out of high school, I had two choices. I was accepted into a four-year university, but I decided to come to Tri-C after receiving a scholarship. I got my associate's degree at Tri-C. They transferred all my credits straight into Baldwin Wallace, so I started at Baldwin Wallace University as a junior. My name is Tyler Leonard, and I earned my first degree at Tri-C. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education program recognizes role model students and teachers from across Ohio. Nominations can now be done completely online. To nominate a deserving teacher or student, go to ohiolottery.com. In the About section, find Partners in Education. There you will find links to the nomination forms. 
Students, kindergarten through 12th grade, can be academic all-stars. Teachers can be honored as a Teacher of the Month. The Ohio Lottery, partners in education, where stars shine. Welcome back. More sports in Les Levine. Dave Bacon and the coach who is, uh, he, he, we set it up, he's taller than we are. <laughs> probably he is out, anyway. I'm guessing he's he could a basketball out, guy. I'm guessing he could out-rebound us. <laughs> yes, he could. He's there was probably time, younger than us, too. Well, to, yeah, I, I would say so. <laughs> well, you mentioned the, one of the first ob obstacles, 11 new guys. Yes. Just for each, each guy to know who to shake hands and say, hi, I'm so-and-so, that, that's yeah. tough in itself, let alone you getting their confidence yeah. as a yeah. new coach. So the first thing we wanted to do is not make it about basketball. We wanted to break the barriers down from person to person, team to team, and uh, teammate to teammate. And we did that by uh, having a sports psychologist come in and speak to our guys. Uh, and do some as a, weekend, as a team or one as a on one? team as a team we did a lot of team building with Dr. Joe Carr who is a world-renowned sports psychologist uh, he does professional he does um, you know corporate but I had the opportunity to work with Joe Carr as a student athlete when I was an undergrad at Cal and then he also did our teams at Florida State and I saw the impact that he had on uh, the individuals and the impact he had on my life as a player What's the first thing he'll he'll go after with it in a team setting like that? The first thing he kind of went after is defining what playing hard is and trying to get an identity. And you have no team without an identity. And I think that was the biggest thing. We didn't talk about at all what you guys talk about of when I got the job because guess what? No opponent is going to feel <laughs> sympathy for us. Yeah. So we didn't talk about that. We just made it about how to bulletproof sort of our circle and how we need each other and the unselfishness and the, what's a level five and uh, what the core values of our team is. And those are the things that we kind of went over, but individually knowing each other's story, the person, who is Coach Gates without basketball? Who is uh, Craig Baudouin without basketball? Who is Tory Patton? Who is Al, Al Eichelberger? without the basketball. That's what we kind of broke down, and that, that's a, that is what allows us to play for each other. What, what are your core values? You know, every, a guy that has waited for his chance to have his own program <laughs> has to know what those values are. What, you well, know, what, what I've, you? I've built it out, uh, and I've tweaked it each year. Um, so we want to win championships, and we have three Cs. Three Cs, we want to win championships in the classroom, in our community, and on a basketball court. Uh, but also there's this acronym of FLAT DUET. Um, friendship, love, accountability, trust, and DUET, spell DUET out. You have discipline. Can you guys guess the other three? It's gonna be education. Uh, no. No? And no. unity's Unselfishness, yeah. yep, you're close. Yeah. And then the E, enthusiasm. Okay. And obviously the T. Team. All right, so. Teamwork. Well, togetherness, yeah. Togetherness, teamwork, yeah. You've done it already in the classroom. Give, give those numbers out. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. Well, what I am proud about, and I can say this, is because it's a part of me and who I am. I graduated from Cal Berkeley. Education was very important to me. My parents instilled it, uh, and obviously it carried throughout. I was able to graduate uh, from college in three years at Berkeley. But um, our team GPA is a 3.05, and we had six members of on the dean's list. And that is an unbelievable accomplishment uh, because we hadn't had that in the last, you know, I would say 10 years. Uh, and to have a team uh, mm -hmm. in its first semester with guys that were in junior college uh, being recruited, they usually, and people on the outside usually look at it as kids with baggage, but these kids bought in who were junior college transfers, who were coming from every walks of life to make and grow together. And they, they, they have done that with that GPA. See, I, I would have never graduated in three years. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to stay in school one more year. Come on now. Just, just to hang out. Seventh year senior? Seventh year senior at the Ohio now. State University. Come on now. <laughs> you talk about identities. Do you have an identity for your basketball team year by year, or is it the same or does it depend on who's on it's, the on the roster? It's defined by the individuals, and they are responsible. Our student athletes are responsible for upholding it. Uh, they're responsible for bringing it together. They're responsible for identifying it. And when it's a young person's idea, 
and not us adults. <laughs> they usually hold on to it and cherish it a little bit more. And that's how I've been taught. And everybody runs their program different, but that's why they love Cleveland State so much. Our guys are representing Cleveland State University, not just men's basketball, but university. They're speaking for the other students that's at the university and obviously alumni. And Dave, what we haven't touched on is how Cleveland State has changed the, the atmosphere, the, the, the dorms, the mm -hmm. apartments. Oh. The, beautiful the campus. It, it is. is a beautiful yeah. campus. Uh, you know, <laughs> beautiful. It didn't used to be. <laughs> what, what, people don't realize how nice that student center is. And, and Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Th there are some really, I mean, th th I used to go over there and eat all the time. The, the meal plans over there, <laughs> unbelievable. Do you take somebody's meal plan and eat off it? That, you know, that, I worked there for a while. Oh, oh there amazing. you go. See, yeah. He knows how, I, I know. what the evolution again, of it was. Again, yeah. you, when you see things like, like the student center and all that, that, that yep. just something clicks and say, that's one more thing I get to sell to parents or yeah. to the players or, or it's, anybody. It's, it's definitely a part of our official visit and unofficial visit tours. Uh, just being able to walk a kid from President Sands' office to the even elements, the, mm -hmm. the food restaurant right. there on campus, and then over to the student uh, center and to see how this campus is connected through the interlink. Now, everyone says I'm spoiled because of the weather, but mm -hmm. there is an unbelievable system that takes place that'll get you class to class without even walking outside. Right, when, when you think about it, when you, you get your coaches together, your players together, yep. You have to be you have to be one voice. Yes, I assume for coaches to players and so yeah. on. So how do you guys get together? You as a coaching staff get together and say this is the message we want. This is the one we don't want. This is what yeah. we do want. How, how do you do that? Well, how do you decide what that is? Well, we as soon as we hired and assembled a staff, we had a four day retreat, and in our retreat, we on the first day we met at our AD's house and you know he and his wife and kids got it all together for us a big round table and we just sat there as if we were studying for finals to organize this season. We did the second day at the Cavs facility and obviously Lynn Komorowski he's on the board of directors at Cleveland State they were able to connect that also Rob Summers his college head coach is John Beeline but we were able to use a sort of um, meeting room at the Cavs facility uh, and that was from morning to evening where we had breakfast lunch and dinner and we just set up every day that way we also met on campus the same way and to being able to spar and go through whatever you have ever learned in life with basketball with each individual from Rob Summers Drew Joyce to Coach Nutt who has been a head coach for 20 years, to Chase Goldstein, who's been a part of Florida Gulf Coast University success when they went to the Sweet 16 as a student and a manager, to uh, Ryan Sharball, who's been you know, at Bradley University and, and that trip to the NCAA tournament. But we threw everything on the table to talk about and left nothing. We went from how we were gonna sit on the bench to how we were gonna walk out the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the, the connections that you have um, locally, Drew Joyce, Ohio, yeah. how important those are to you. Um, because you hadn't been, you know, on, you hadn't been here in this, in this right. region and in this area for very long. Well, hiring a staff is very important, uh, you know, with, with recruiting. But uh, I wanted to hire a staff that had some local connections, but also in-state connections. And, you know, I, I looked at uh, several unbelievable candidates, but Rob Sommer stood out because he has a unique uh, set of skills that was very important to building what we're building. He was a head coach at, a, at Urbana College. Uh, he was a center in college, so he's a seven-footer who could also specialize in post development, and that was crucial for recruiting the type of kids we wanted to recruit in the post, uh, seven-foot kids. Uh, that was very important, and he has recruiting ties because he was from and grew up in Columbus, Ohio um, with his AAU program in high school. And then I wanted uh, another guy, and we were so lucky to get Coach Joyce because at that time he was still playing overseas, but his recruiting um, basis is what it is. He's been in basketball throughout his life. He grew up helping his dad run tournaments. He grew up in the home of a coach and a unique personality in itself, but he's a great teacher. 
great individual skill instructor, and he played a point guard position, which is very crucial in your development of, uh, of a team. Think about that. We're going to practice today over where LeBron James is. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, that, that guy there, he's that, that, really? point guy, that's uh, Drew Joyce over there. Drew Joyce well, the third. Well, he's, he's seen basketball at a mm -hmm. very high level at yeah. a very young age and uh, played for a great coach at Akron, uh, Keith Dan Bratt. Mm -hmm. And, you know, by the way, Keith Dan Bratt and my college coach are best friends, uh, Ben Braun, who Keith Dan Bratt worked with at Eastern Michigan. Right, right. All right, we'll come back. We'll talk more about it. It's a fascinating story as uh, uh, Dennis Gates is here, first year at Cleveland State. Hopefully he's going to be here for a long time and bringing new, uh, new uh, re reviving uh, the good feeling at, at Cleveland State. Northeast Factory Direct, three great locations, uh, east, west, and, so and south. Of course, the south is in, on Freeway Drive. That's in Macedonia. Why is it different than anywhere else? Well, they don't have to pay the big rents for the big box stores. They'll uh, save you. Well, you're going to pay... 10%, maybe. That's what uh, he pays in rent. Alex has been doing it for over 20 years now. Started with one piece of furniture in a garage. Now he's expanded to three great locations. Before you go anywhere, go to northeastfactorydirect.com. We'll come back in a moment. We're talking college basketball, Cleveland State basketball. More sports and less living continues exclusively on cleveland.com. Celebrate NatureStone's 30-year anniversary with a free NatureStone floor. During 2020, we will be giving away 30 free floors to 30 very lucky customers to say thank you for making NatureStone the best concrete flooring solution for garages, basements, and more. Call or visit NatureStone.com today to register to win, and we'll send you a copy of our new buyer's guide absolutely free. There's no purchase necessary. Winners will be chosen monthly. With over 30 million square feet installed for more than 60,000 customers, it's easy to see why I always say, it's not just a floor. Wow, it's NatureStone. Just because I'm not a million dollar price doesn't mean I'm worthless. We middle prices get zero respect. We're worth hundreds, even thousands. I mean, I'm a handsome bag of money. And there's $110 million worth of us in the Ohio Lottery Cash Celebration scratch off alone. Plus, the odds of winning are off the chart. One in three. Play the $30 cash celebration for a chance to win up to a million dollars. You see? Oh, <clears throat> uh, and lots of prizes between $100 and $1,000. Everybody wants a million. Would 500 bucks be so bad? Come on. There are tastes we remember. Every smell brings the happiness of times gone by. Experience this every time you walk into Gallucci's Italian Foods. Whether you need lunch on the go, a catered party, or that perfect blend of wine, meats, and cheeses, Gallucci's has exactly what you're looking for. Straight from Mama's Kitchen. For old world traditions or original experiences. From the tastes you remember to new flavors you'll never forget. Gallucci's is a tasty branch of your family tree. When it comes to selling you a mattress, most retailers are handing you a line, a long line of extra steps that drive up costs and create confusion. At the Original Mattress Factory, we simplify the mattress shopping experience by building mattresses and box springs in our own local factories and selling them direct to you. It's short, sweet, and simply makes sense. So experience more than just a mattress store. Experience an original, the Original Mattress Factory. Welcome back. Dennis Gates is with us, uh, Cleveland State head basketball coach. How, how does a, when the job comes out, Gary Waters did such a great job when he was here, but then the, the job opens up and not, not too far before school starts. So how does that, how does that all work? Well, it's, it's, it works this way. You don't look at um, when, you look at the opportunity. And okay. growing up, I knew that opportunities come in different shapes sizes, forms, and you can't judge a book by its cover because the fit was the most important. Right. And it was a great fit for me. It was a great fit for, um, at, for, for my family at this time to, to make that move. And Cleveland State checked all the boxes, especially from that leadership standpoint. Great institution, great conference, uh, but also a great tradition that you could also sell to a student athlete. Speaking of great conference and all, you've got four home games coming up. You're on the road for a couple of games, yep. and then you're coming back home to the Walsh yep. Center. Uh, on the 23rd of January, yep. you've got uh, Green Bay. Yes. Uh, Tony Bennett. The old Green Bay guy. Hey, yeah. He could yeah. play and he yes, can coach. Yes, indeed. Very good coach. <laughs> yeah. 
Then you got Milwaukee on the 25th, the 30th, it's uh, IUPUI, and then uh, you come back on February 1st against UIC where, yes. where you say you saw some games. High school, my high school is right across the street from UIC Pavilion. Yeah. Uh, it was definitely a, a, a home trip for me when we went back. Obviously, we didn't get the results that we wanted, right. but that was a good game. But I'm looking forward to this last, uh, these this four games uh, coming up because it's a home stand that I think will allow us to make a move in this conference standings, and it's very important. The other thing, before you actually see these guys and play these teams, you, you don't have a feel for them. You, you know who they are and yeah. all that stuff. Now you, you can put names to faces and uh, a skill levels to skill level, and maybe the second, third time around, it's a different story. Yeah, I mean, you have to, before you, well, one thing that me and the staff did was uh, we broke down each team in this conference, and you don't know a team until you really break down their tendencies and you build a scouting report. So we were able to put ourselves in that situation. We know some of those staffs just through recruiting and building right. relationships, being in the gym, but you don't really know what they do. And we broke it down. Uh, I, so I signed the entire conference in thirds to each assistant, and they do a great job of scouting. They did a great job of finding out the pluses and minuses, and that's what allowed us during the preseason to start implementing a, a system that would be beneficial to what we had to face. Because there's one thing about it, we're not a one, we're not we're not a uh, multi-bid league mm -hmm. at this point. Although I believe that we can get there, but we have to win the conference tournament to to have that one right. shiny moment, so to speak. I've, go ahead. This year's team. How yeah. proud are you of? What you know? What you have done early in the year, given you didn't get, you know, it, there wasn't a lot to get you know your feet on the ground and get rolling in the off season. Your off season was compressed, is what right. I'm getting at. So how proud are you of just the way that this team has responded? Well, I'm I'm very proud of the way uh, me and the staff were able to get on the same page with the retreat. It really helped organize what we need to do. Uh, but also, you have to make adjustments sometimes, right? And, you know, I'm very proud of our student athletes that we've been able to identify the young men we were able to identify through the relationships that we had uh, in our profession. Uh, you had Craig Baudouin, who was unsigned. You had Trey Gomillion, who was a freshman and junior college ready to start his sophomore year, but he was a qualifier. You had Franklin Penn Jr. the same exact way as a junior college transfer in Tyrese Potoma. You had certain kids out there, you just had to make sure they had the right character to endure what you were asking them to do. Well, one of the problems forever for mid-majors is scheduling. Mm -hmm. you, you, need, you need wins, which means you gotta play yeah. at home, but the big boys aren't gonna come here <laughs> for a while, right? So They're you gotta not. go there and maybe have your lunch handed to you, but that, that's not necessarily a bad thing. No, it, it prepares you because what I have sold our team on is, you know, we had a tough schedule. We played a lot of preseason number one teams in their rifle conferences. We played high majors like Minnesota, which was a tough game. We played South Carolina at South Carolina. But it's one of those things that if we we're fortunate enough to win our conference tournament, those are the teams we're going to face. Sure. So it, it gives you the edge of, okay, do you get – prepared for what you're really trying to do. And I've, I come from the school where you have to be prepared for the big picture. And our goal is to get to the NCAA tournament. Uh, now, how and, we get there is, is, is up to us. Yeah, and those are the games those kids will remember long after yes, they graduate. Yes, yes, indeed. What about team style? What, you know, what do you want to, when, when somebody plays for, for you, yeah. what do you want them to take away and say? What, if, yeah. if, I'm, if I'm one of your players, what do you want me to remember <laughs> from my time playing for you? Well, our, our players know right now with the time that we've had with them. They know that we are, I am a player's coach. Um, I'm very disciplined, but I'm also a guy that allows guys to play and have fun. And, you know, I'm not the one to yell about, you know, the shot attempts, but I am the one to yell about your effort. Uh, and I don't have to because they know. Uh, <laughs> in order to play and get on the court, you got to play at a certain certain speed defensively. Um, but we're, we're, we're an exciting brand of basketball. We, we press, we trap, we do things that, exci that excites our fan base. Uh, and, and it's an exciting way to play because the big picture is are we – going to get prepared by the teams that are trying to play us. And that's, that's what it's about. They're, they're not going to be able to prepare for us defensively because we do press and trap. They just don't know when.
And, and the other thing is, is the speed. You know, yeah. you, you can't really if, if you're always running. Yeah. It's hard to simulate. That no, it practice. is. It is. It's 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 a way to play. It's it's the way the game is going. Multiple ball screens. Mm -hmm. uh, it sh it allows guys to show their strengths and weaknesses. It allows guys to show their versatility. And with the height and emphasis put on player development and individual workouts today, players want to see if they can do that in the game. So I allow that to happen, and I want guys to experiment and play as long as they work on it in the summers. Right. Can you work on one time here? Uh, no, 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 nice shot. Can, you do that? <laughs> can I hear hey, how it comes hey, out? I never heard a, a coach complain about a made <laughs> shot. That's right. Let's, let's take a break. We'll come on back in a moment. We're, we're talking Cleveland State basketball and much more. More sports and Les Levine continues exclusively on Cleveland.com. As a kid growing up, my dream was to go to college, play baseball, and get a degree. Coming out of high school, I had two choices. I was accepted into a four-year university, but I decided to come to Tri-C after receiving a scholarship. I got my associate's degree at Tri-C. They transferred all my credits straight into Baldwin Wallace, so I started at Baldwin Wallace University as a junior. My name is Tyler Leonard, and I earned my first degree at Tri-C. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education program recognizes role model students and teachers from across Ohio. Nominations can now be done completely online. To nominate a deserving teacher or student, go to ohiolottery.com. In the About section, find Partners in Education. There you will find links to the nomination forms. Students kindergarten through 12th grade can be academic all-stars. Teachers can be honored as a Teacher of the Month. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education, where stars shine. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant, whatever it takes. And to keep your family comfortable, it takes Smiley One Heating and Cooling. Find them at smileyone.com. Welcome back. More sports and Les Levine with you uh, on a Wednesday night. Taking a break from Brown's coaching talk now that we finally have one here. Yeah. Quick, no, nothing going to happen for a while. Quick response. What did you think of the press conference yesterday? He handled himself very well. Yeah. You know, how, what's not to like about about the way he presented himself? Well, we've, we've seen and heard enough know, of them. You know. I know. That's what's not to like. There's too the, many of them. Coach but we like, we like Coach hey, Gates. Hey, I would <laughs> say this. Change is tough. You know, transition yeah. is tough. Absolutely. And it's not easy. Yep. But no one, I've never heard a fan complain about winning. No. Absolutely so, right. No, they, this is they, a great they sports They only look time. for ex exciting play <laughs> if they're losing. Right. Here's what a you, question for you. You play that up-tempo style, maximum effort. Uh -huh. Does that allow you, and do the kids kind of understand, go as long as you can, as hard as you can, and we're going to get more people playing yeah. the same exact way? We, we had to teach the guys how to sub themselves. Uh, and if you play with an effort that gets you tired, the most unselfish thing you can do is sub yourself out. Yeah. And we've gotten, a, gotten to that point in our culture where guys aren't afraid to sub themselves out because they know they have played so hard and they're going to go back in. So that's rewarding for guys to do and it's very unselfish from teammate to teammate. From a win-loss perspective, my guess is you weren't surprised when you guys were voted 10th in the, in the uh, conference. Before, the preseason? No, no, I wasn't surprised nor shocked. Uh, you know, those 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 uh, rankings and mm -hmm. votes come from the media and obviously from the coaches in, in, right. in conference. But it's based off what you have returning. Right. And you nobody know, we knew were what in you a, had. They, no one knew what we had, and still don't know uh, until they really play up against us and start to scout us. But we've taught our guys how to look at the primary and secondary, uh, meaning expectations. 
the primary expectations is what we expect of ourselves. Okay, so you get ranked number 10, and guess what? Look where you're at, fourth. <laughs> <laughs> well, we guess don't... Guess who's laughing now? We, we, don't, we don't look at the rankings. <laughs> just, just ask that question to us in March, yeah. and hopefully we're in the same place. But right. it's all about jockeying for a position for the do tournament. You, when, when you get to where you want to be, do you look at it as three parts of the of the schedule you're talking about, not pre uh, non-conference games and conference games and conference yes. tournament? Is yes. that how that, yes, that works? Yes, we do. But when we get into conference, we break our conference down in threes too. There's 18 games, so we go by sixes. Okay. And right now we're going on the end of the first third of our conference schedule with our game at Wright State. That'll be the first six. We have an opportunity to either go four and two or finish three and three with the first six, and then we'll move to the next six and have those Four and minutes. two would be unbelievable. That'll be great. That'll be unbelievable. And our guys are going to work hard at it, and I guarantee you the, the, the feeling of our loss against Oakland, you know, it's, 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 it hurts. It hurts <laughs> our guys. Okay, so realistically, you've had – Cleveland State's had success. Kevin Mackey years, he had yes. success. Uh, Gary Waters, their success. A uh, couple of others along the way, and then some not so successful things. What's realistic from your point of view? You coming in here, where, at what point will people take notice of Cleveland State again? Well, in my first year, and I told our guys this, it's not about quantity, it's quality. Uh, producing a championship quality. And for as long as you produce that, you can start to incrementally grow and see the see the results and quantify it and that's what we're moving toward uh, so that's why we don't look at the record our question is have we outplayed our opponent each and every game that's our biggest question and first question we ask ourselves and then we'll start looking at the percentages and and the things that allows you to win all right so you got three road games coming up and then you come back home and by the way it's the best ticket price in town it's it's a, it's from great, an entertainment it's, standpoint? It's a, it's a mm -hmm. great ticket price. There's no doubt about it. But it's also a great experience. Right. And when you do come, and I encourage you guys to come out and support, but it's an unbelievable environment. Um, you know, our team does a great job uh, getting prepared uh, and making it a, a fan-friendly environment. All right, so going down the row here after you, you've got a couple of road games, then you've got four home games in yes. a row. 23rd of January, Green Bay comes to town, then uh, Milwaukee on the 25th. And on the 30th, it's IUPUI, and yep. on February 1st, it'll be UIC. Yep, yep. The initial conference. Nothing hey, but initials. I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you one thing. It's a tough conference and a well-coached uh, conference. These teams are prepared. I found myself looking down at uh, Coach Campy. Man, you've been there for 36 years, <laughs> and this is my first year. So I've, I'm honored to share the sidelines with these coaches. I mean, think about it. And Dave, you know as well as anybody the, the – the, the the coaches that have come out oh, of this yeah. league. I mean, Bruce Pearl and Larry Farmer. Well, Brad Stevens was Brad at Stevens. Butler. That yeah, game yeah. you were talking yes, about was yes, a Brad Stevens yes, coach game. Yes. Yeah. Some unbelievable coaches yeah. have come through here. Yeah. And there's no doubt there's some unbelievable coaches still in this conference. And, um, you know, I'm, ha I'm happy to be here. Very excited. So did you know any of these, uh, uh, these coaches before yeah. in the league? Yes. Yeah. So from a recruiting so, standpoint. So from a recruiting standpoint, obviously, Darren Horn, Northern Kentucky, my brother, mm -hmm. was on his uh, was a graduate assistant on his Sweet 16 team, and he's from the Tom Crane mm -hmm. coaching tree, which right. is where I was a graduate assistant at and for while he was at Marquette. Uh, Steve McLean at UIC is also was an assistant just at Indiana for Tom. Um, Coach Nagy over at uh, Rice State, we've played him in the past, great mid-major uh, program that he started uh, before he got to Wright State and obviously look at the job he's doing mm -hmm. now uh, unbelievable job and from top to bottom the conference has shifted a little bit but you look at the teams that have left uh, and parted ways but uh, the, we're going to grow it back and I'm excited to be a part of that all right we'll go take a break we'll come on back coach Gates is with us Northeast Factory Direct East West and South they've got him we're going to pay uh, Less than, way less than 50% on almost every item in the store. And why is that? Because Alex passes the savings on to you. He'll pay about 10% of the rent that the big box stores pay, and he'll pass that savings on to you. Lakeland Boulevard, uh, the old B&B Appliance Building, West 140th Street, and, of course, the new one in uh, Freeway Drive. That is in Macedonia. But before you do anything, go to northeastfactorydirect.com. Sokolowski's University Inn. Have you been there yet for lunch? Not yet, but I need to go. This place is unbelievable. It's ranked, uh, well, it, make, it won the James Beard Foundation Award. Only five in the country make it each and every year. They, uh, it's 
the Cleveland's oldest family-owned and operated restaurant, Big Boosters of Downtown and Cleveland State, Mike and Bernie Sokolowski's University. And we'll come back in a moment. More sports and Les Levine continues exclusively on Cleveland.com. Get Nature Stone and never replace your basement flooring again. Your concrete is uneven, damp, and not healthy. Carpet and tile don't last. Breed mold and mildew and give worthless warranties. Nature Stone permanently corrects uneven concrete and is not affected by dampness or moisture. And with Russell's Promise, our true unconditional warranty, there are no hidden maintenance costs. Act now and save up to 50% with our volume discount pricing. Must be installed by the end of January. Schedule your free cost estimate easily online today at naturestone.com. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's Nature Stone. When it comes to selling you a mattress, most retailers are handing you a line. A long line of extra steps that drive up costs and create confusion. At the Original Mattress Factory, we simplify the mattress shopping experience by building mattresses and box springs in our own local factories and selling them direct to you. It's short, sweet, and simply makes sense. So experience more than just a mattress store. Experience an original, the Original Mattress Factory. Downs and Casino has sports betting. Use one of our 50 state-of-the-art Bet America kiosks to place your bet and watch your favorite games on one of our many HD televisions or visit our sportsbook area. Only at Presque Isle Downs and Casino. Dave Bacon with us on more sports and Les Levine. Coach uh, Dennis Gates is uh, also with us, doing a great job at Cleveland State. Let's talk some players. Uh, who's, who's impressed you so far? Came, maybe, um, maybe you came out of nowhere. Uh, Al Eichelberger. Uh, he's impressed me big time because he's a kid that started his career at DePaul. And he also uh, was at Cleveland State. And he was coming off the bench, played minimal minutes. But his progression in these last uh, couple games has uniquely shocked me. All right, so he's averaging 13.7 points, yes. leading the team, yes. and six and a half rebounds per game. Yeah. Pretty good numbers. Very good numbers, especially when, you, when you're not expecting it because he doubled his minutes, and that's right. the production he had. All right, you've got uh, Craig uh, Baudouin. Yeah. Leading the Horizon League uh, in assists, 6.2 points, uh, six assist, yeah. 6.2 assists per game. Craig Baudouin, six three-point guard, uh, very quick, very versatile. Uh, he's a kid that is very unselfish, and his teammates love to play for him. Uh, his toughness is his talent, but you look at oh, those numbers, and you look at the very beginning of the season, he's improved because of that adjustment that he had to go through. Right, we uh, talked about guys shooting, and you saying, no, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Torrey Patton, I'm guessing you, you'll let him shoot all day long, right? Hey, he has, he's leading the conference yeah. in field goal percentage. 58%. Yeah. 58%. 58%. Yeah. That's unbelievable for a those guy layups. with his versatility. But he's also shooting some threes, and he's gotten his feet set. But Torrey is a kid who went through some injuries at the beginning of the season, mm -hmm. and we didn't have him. Uh, he was in and out, not really able to – you know, be there, but he's improved so much and got healthy that now we're seeing the best part of well, Torrey. Well, and he's, he was named the Horizon uh, League Player of the Week back on, on January 6th. Yes. What, what is your theory on the three-point shot? The three-point shot? You, you like to have your team blow him away, bomb well, him away? Well, I, I just think it's all about personnel, and if you have guys you have to shoot, you, you must shoot. And ideally, I want to get our program to a point where we're making close to 10 threes per game. And if you can do that, you're having an equal balance of three-point shooting with paint. Right. And that's, that's what you have to do. If you look at all the stats for NCAA tournament teams, that's something that is uh, very, very uh, when, parallel. When you get to where you want to be, roster-wise and, uh -huh. and all that stuff, what, what kind of a team are you going to be? Are you going to be a, a, a pressing defensive team? Are yep. you going to be a three-point shooting team, run and, run and stun? What are you going to do? All of those that you listed. Okay. And if you look at where we are now, the one thing that we are missing is our three-point shooting, which is very behind. And, you know, it's a combination of that's just not the strengths of the guys that we have. And also with 
some of the guys are in their first year in this transition of of playing. So uh, we, we're definitely going to get there. Uh, I'm looking forward to that day, but we have to play well uh, and have positive assist to turnover ratio, and that's what we've done. Yeah, you can't in these force first... a team to do what you want them no, to do if they aren't able no. to do it. There you go. Right. There you go. Here's another question. When, you, when you're able to recruit for a full season, uh -huh. what do you want to build the program around? Is there, do you have an idea of of the type of kid, where you want to get him, you know. How, yeah, I, I to be want, successful yeah, at to the be, level you want for, to be. For it, for it to to be successful and to sustain what we're building, we have to rely on this community in Cleveland, Ohio. We have to have Cleveland, Ohio kids and Ohio kids in general. There's a great grassroots system here that exists. Some unbelievable high school coaches and programs, and it's just a matter of time until we start to get there. Um, of course, I got the job in, 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 in July, at the end of July. Mm -hmm. The rules didn't allow me to be out recruiting right. into the high school gyms here locally. Uh, but also where we were as a program hasn't allowed me yet to be inside these gyms. And, and every day I want to go to high school gyms and build the relationships we need to build. But I can't do it at the expense of our season and sure. the young men that's playing for us. So I'm looking forward to the opportunity to continue to grow in this community. Despite all that, though, how's the re response been from the high school coaches? Man, I, I was shocked. I'll tell you what, this is what speaks volumes of this community. I get text messages from coaches just saying, hey, coach, you're doing a great job. Nice. And, not, and, and that's just not even on game days. And then after a loss, a tough loss, Hey, coach, keep your head up. You're doing a great job. And these are from local that's, that's, AAU coaches and high school yeah. coaches, all of them who are watching what we do, and, it, and they're excited about where the program is. Well, you're is. an outlet where they can send their players. They're, I would hope so. I would hope so. But ultimately, not just an outlet, but I'm an extension of what they've groomed sure. and trusted uh, because they have poured their time and effort into these young men, and it's a partnership, right? I want to help raise these young men that they are raising. Is, that, was the, that was the other question that I wanted to ask you. Uh -huh. What are you telling them? If, if you're recruiting me, what are you telling me? What, why should I go and play for coach at Cleveland the, State? First, first, I would say uh, the big picture. It's not a four-year relationship. It's a 40-year relationship. I want to be invited to your wedding. I want to get an announcement when you have a child. I want to be a major part of your life-changing decisions uh, about your career. I want to be there when the ball stops bouncing and you are in transition trying to figure out what your next career is going to be. And at that point, you see where I'm coming from as a coach, but not only a coach, but as a person. And whether you're that parent, that AAU coach, that high school coach, you're trusting that message before you're trusting this four-year commitment of let's get to the NBA. Well, if I'm pouring my life and time into you from a holistic manner, you're going to trust me with your dreams. And your dream is to short-term go to the NBA, but those dreams don't last. My guess is somebody did that for you. Uh, That's exactly they, and, what and, I was and thinking. And someone did do that yeah. for me, yeah. and those individuals I still call. I still have a relationship with my college coaches, my AAU coach, my grammar school coach, and my high school coach. And they all have come to games. And that has been a special moment when they see me on the sidelines coaching. Did you, did you play other sport, uh, sports growing up? Yeah, my first sport actually was track. <laughs> I was a relay runner, high jumper, long jumper. And same day? I, yeah, same day. <laughs> I was pretty good, but then I started growing a little bit more. Yeah. And, and basketball was so, so intense. And the biggest thing, those track meets lasted all day long. <laughs> <laughs> and the weather wasn't always great. Right, right. But I just found the bond of brotherhood with a, uh, with a group of young men, our, my friends that are still my best friends to this day. And we had an unbelievable AAU program. Uh, and and it, it served itself well. And the, and the unity that you have when you're on a team like that, it, it grows on you. Is the AAU getting back under control? Is it? Is it a problem, or is, it, or is everybody working together? Well, this? no matter what career or, or subject it is, if you have bad people, you have problems that exist. Right. Uh, but there are some great AAU coaches out there and that do it the right way. 
Uh, there are some great AAU and high school programs in this city that do it the right way. And I'm just excited to, to be a part of helping them build their young men, but also having them see the product that we're building on the court now. All right, we're coming back one more time. In basketball terms, that means you're down by six with a minute and a half remaining. So while I take the shot, you think of how you're going to take the shot. Who's going to take the last shot? Who's you? Take the six <laughs> you? We go to our vets when last shot, our vet yeah. gets it. Vet gets the shot. Run. That's, that is fine. Voicemail of truth and reason. You can call that anytime. 23 hours a day when we do the show. You can just call us on the show, but 216 200 is the number to call. Leave us a message and we'll put it on the air and uh, respond to it. And we'll come back in a minute. One more time, Coach Gates from Cleveland State. More sports and less Levine continues with Dave Bacon exclusively on Cleveland.com. Get Nature Stone and never replace your garage flooring again. Your concrete is cracked, uneven, and not safe. Paints and poly coatings don't last, are slippery, and give worthless warranties. Nature Stone permanently corrects cracked, uneven concrete, eliminates slipping hazards, and is easy to clean. And with Russell's Promise, our true unconditional warranty, there are no hidden maintenance costs. Act now and save up to 50% with our volume discount pricing. Must be installed by the end of January. Schedule your free cost estimate easily online today at naturestone.com. It's not just a floor. Wow, it's Nature Stone. There are tastes we remember. Every smell brings the happiness of times gone by. Experience this every time you walk into Gallucci's Italian Foods. Whether you need lunch on the go, a catered party, or that perfect blend of wine, meats, and cheeses, Gallucci's has exactly what you're looking for. Straight from Mama's Kitchen. For old world traditions or original experiences. From the tastes you remember to new flavors you'll never forget. Gallucci's is a tasty branch of your family tree. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education program recognizes role model students and teachers from across Ohio. Nominations can now be done completely online. To nominate a deserving teacher or student, go to ohiolottery.com. In the About section, find Partners in Education. There you will find links to the nomination forms. Students, kindergarten through 12th grade, can be academic all-stars. Teachers can be honored as a Teacher of the Month. The Ohio Lottery Partners in Education, where stars shine. Well, you can follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash more sports and less Levine with new content posted each and every day. Thursday night, uh, the D-man, Dennis Maniloff, will be joining us. Hopefully he'll uh, join in. You see us Monday through Friday uh, from 6 until 7 live. And, of course, you can archive us anytime, any day uh, throughout the week on uh, cleveland.com. Coach Dennis Gates is with us. He's doing a, a tremendous job at Cleveland State, and it's only going to get better. Right, Coach? Thank you, sir. <laughs> not not wow. too much pressure, Les. Well, <laughs> I told you before, don't do too well in the beginning. They'll expect you to do it all the time. Leave, leave well, a little room. Well, well, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm excited to be here, and I thank you guys for having me Our pleasure. on. Without That's a great. doubt. I think it's a sleeping giant. I've always said that about Cleveland State basketball. And... and uh, I told you before, it says Cleveland on the on the shirt, so that, you know, don't tell any kids that it, it's not really Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, we're excited. Um, mm -hmm. I'm excited. Our players are excited, and yeah. our future recruits are excited. Well, I can't, I'm thinking about Len Komorowski and John Beeline and all, and his players get to go to the Cleveland Clinic courts and say, wow, <laughs> that's pretty good. You know, there, there, uh, there is a, uh, there's an opportunity. There's definitely an opportunity. For Cleveland State. Absolutely. Yeah, no question about it. Absolutely. No question uh, about I'm, it. I'm, I'm very grateful yeah. uh, because the fans, the support on campus has been mm -hmm. nothing but unbelievable. Right. Five years from now, I'm going to ask you the question. So write it down if you want. Write it down. I'm going to ask you we got. why, when you see what will happen in the next five years, hopefully, yep. why Cleveland State has not become members of a bigger conference like when, you, when Cincinnati was doing what it was doing in Memphis yep. and Memphis. You know, maybe maybe Cleveland State would never be like that, but why didn't it get to the bigger point? Well, I, and I is just, that the goal? I, I just no. The goal is is to have your ten toes down and two feet in where you are. And this conference is a basketball conference who can have multiple bids. We have to get our bids back up to where it was in the past, and I think we can do that. Uh, we have great le leadership in the Horizon League. Uh, we have great leadership on our campus, and Cleveland has a unbelievable fan base and I truly believe that if we're in a position to 
successfully run this league and win 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 conference championships. I'll tell you what, I'm, I, why would we leave for something like that? And well, that's you, not you having even been a conversation. You've got, you've got Major League, you've got yeah. the NFL, you've got the NBA and all. There's room. Yeah, yeah. There's I would hope some everybody. great teams come to the Horizon League. Yeah. Here, here's a question. Is, is everything in place for you to be successful at Cleveland State where, where you are four or yeah. five years down the road? At, I, at the I, level you want it to be. Leonard Hamilton wouldn't have been at the press conference <laughs> if he didn't My think. My point exactly. If he didn't yeah. think Cleveland State yeah. had what it takes. He would have said, get out of here he as fast as He you wouldn't can. have let me interview yeah. for the job if Cleveland State wasn't that. And yeah, that, he that's dissected That's the sales point it. right there. Yeah, there's no doubt about mm-hmm. it. I mean, he put a stamp on it, and he showed what, what it is that he saw, and he's very impressed with it right. and has been. Coach, so nice of you to come oh, thank out. We you. appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anything you, you need, appreciate let us know. I appreciate Love you guys, all right. without a doubt. Terrific. All right, that'll do it for us. We'll see you tomorrow night of all the shows I've ever done. This was the most recent.